welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are transforming an Elevol surprise doll into Vanellope from Ralph Breaks the Internet. Now, I wanted to make this a little bit challenging and I am only going to be using the doll that comes inside of this Elevol surprise doll under wraps. So, I have to work with whatever I get and this is going to be really, really fun. So, let's open up the first layer and see who we got. And you guys, we have a gold ball. Of course, I would get an ultra rare doll when I need to <laughs> cut off her hair and transform her into somebody else. Sweet and Sour opens up the capsule. And the doll we got is Kawaii Queen. Oh, she's so cute. Part of the Glitterati. And I feel so bad having to cut off her beautiful glittery hair. But we're going to make her into Vanellope. And the cool thing is she already has white leggings that work perfectly with Vanellope's costume. Let's open up the rest of her accessories. She has a little bow. Oh, she has the cutest little outfit. And I think we're going to be able to use a skirt for our doll. We have her baby bottle. And then the last accessory is a pair of glittery shoes. And to start with the transformation, we're gonna have to cut off the little buns. Oh, this is so sad. Her hair is so pretty. And we're gonna be using some air dry clay to fill out those little holes and mold the new hairstyle. Vanellope has a really cute side ponytail with some messy pieces in the front. So we're gonna try to do that with some air dry clay. And it's very useful to use water to make the clay stick better. I'm gonna mold the ponytail by making it thinner at the ends. And then with a paintbrush, I'm going to wrap the clay around it to kind of give it that really pretty wave. And now we're gonna make her bangs. She's got a lot of messy little pieces in the front. Now we can attach the ponytail. I let it dry for a little bit and it's going to look so cute. I already see her looking more like Vanellope. And now we can start painting my favorite part. We're going to be using this mint acrylic paint to make some stripes on her leggings. We're going to add some black details on one side of her leggings. And now we can paint on the mint color hoodie. I think we'll need a couple of coats to make it look nice and even. Now because Kawaii Queen had really long bangs, we're going to use some of this sun-kissed peach paint to match her skin tone and make it look like it's just her forehead. And now we can go ahead and start painting her hair. This is my favorite part. And this is my favorite part because this is going to make the hair really stand out. We got really lucky because Kawaii Queen's skirt looks just like the one Vanellope's wearing. We just have to paint it with some brown paint to make it look just like the one she has in the movie. It's time to paint on her black shoes. I'm gonna be removing the little stars Kawaii Queen had with some nail polish remover. Painting on some eyebrows, Vanellope has some big and bold expressive eyebrows. Now just adding some more details to her hoodie with some red paint. And now we're going to paint on some colorful candy sprinkles in Vanellope's hair. This is my favorite part about her look. Mm -hmm. 
Now, Vanellope has a really light pink lipstick on. Very natural, so we're removing the red one with some nail polish remover and going over with some very light pink acrylic paint. I'm also going to take the same color on her cheeks and make her look a little bit rosy. And this is how Vanellope turned out, you guys. I added a little bow in her hair and I'm so excited. She looks so, so cute. I think she's one of my favorites so far. I love how her hair turned out. I also added some cute little lollipops on her hand since she loves candy. And I don't know, I just thought she looks really cute. Let me know down in the comments if you guys are going to be watching Ralph Breaks the Internet in theaters very soon. And you can tell me down in the comments what other transformations you guys want to see. I have so much fun doing these. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any of my videos. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time.